There's a contention that best greatness. If you want to do anything great, be ready to go to the battles that makes king. This year is the year of throne. There are many kings sitting on thrones. Don't think that the land promised you by God is empty. You will die in casualty if you think that. Oh, do you think what you are suffering now is your real battle? You've not seen your real battle. When you see your real battle, you will now know why you've been suffering. The Bible said if you faint in the what? The days of adversity. There is a season given to adversity. And that season is to test your strength. We will now know who has been training you when the day of adversity comes. Meanwhile, in the day of adversity, Satan will come with shortcut. Cowards are the one that will take it. Cowards. And see, the day of your adversity will be different from mine. Mine will be different from your own. The best I can do is to tell you what God has said, but I cannot prepare you for my type of adversity because my adversity may not be your adversity. Jesus told them, he said, you want to sit, can you drink first? Before you think of sitting, think, can you drink of the cup? Do you understand me? He didn't say, can you test? There are those who can test, but they cannot drink. When you take that cup, and you test, and, and it is bitter, can you swallow? Can you drink? There is a life of warfare that the, the, the flashing light and camera on the pulpit do not capture. It's that one that makes us men of God. Not this one. We, we, it's not suit that makes me a man of God. When cameras are not there and Satan rises against you, that is where we will know the, the jasper, the kind of stone that you are made of. When they come and say, deny Jesus or die, that's when we will know the kind of stone you are made of. Have you not read scripture? The cowardly, there is a path in hell for those who are cowards. Some people, the reason why they are not great is because they cannot leave their city to go and suffer in another city. journeys to greatness especially when god wants to do a transition with his people just know that the same journey that will transit some will be the same journey that we cut others off anytime there's about to be a transition there's also a sifting there's a sifting when the disciples of jesus were to graduate to the next phase of their ministry a sifting happened it almost got peter Meanwhile, the sifting was so powerful that towards the end of Jesus' ministry, his disciples began to reduce. Did you notice? His disciples did not increase towards the end of his ministry. They began to reduce drastically. Until there were only 11 core apostles and then 120 together. A man who, when he traveled, the Bible said, multitude, thousands upon thousands, gathered with him. So hypothetically, after six years of ministry, he would have only had 24 people. Hi. Your battles are the signs that you are now at the pedestal of your lifting there is something called the gift of the wilderness one of the signs that you know you are about to be promoted is not that angels will come and sing merry christmas no they will give you a wilderness it's as though you are sentenced to die then in that fire you will now discover that the fire was there to refine you so whether there is money or no money your redeemer lives whether there's gold or no gold, your redeemer leaves. Whether this place is packed or not packed, you will so forth and proclaim the word of the Lord. Do you know what it means in this social media generation to stand up and say, Thus says the Lord. The moment you say that, they will insult you in the comment section. It's easy to now give up prophesying then you now go to pastoral ministry and say you are now a relationship counselor. In a generation. 
Hiloba. When prophets are, are destroying people everywhere, terrible things happening, and then God say, go and represent him in that generation. You have to die. You don't have any integrity to this. You have to die. Hey, ah, ah, ah. <laughs>